I was born here in Hollywood, California in 1932. Uh, we lived in a three-bedroom house at that time. And I understand from my parents that it was right across the street from RKO Studios. My father uh, was a gardener. He worked for Ozzie and Harriet, and he worked for the president of the uh, Bank of America, who had properties all over Los Angeles, Pasadena. So my oldest brother, uh, Tom, was playing football at Hollywood High School, and my sister, Kay, was one month away from graduation when we were evicted from our homes and uh, sent out of California uh, un during the evacuation of uh, the West Coast. So she was really upset. She was really um, disappointed that she couldn't walk down uh, the aisle to get her diploma. And she was angry because she said, I just, <clears throat> I just had my civil rights class and I know my civil rights, and they can't do this to us uh, without a trial. They can't send us into a camp or prison without a trial. But so she said to my parents, you're from Japan, so you have to go to these prison camps. But I'm an American, so I don't have to go. And so she says, I'm not going to the prison camps. And my mother said to her, well, if you don't go to camp, who's gonna take care of you out here by yourself? And who's gonna take care of us while we're in camp? So my sister said, okay, so she'll go to camp. And so she reluctantly um, went to camp. In those days, people didn't protest. Nobody protested. Everybody went very quietly, very orderly. On December 7th, and immediately following the bombing of Pearl Harbor, the FBI were picking up <clears throat> fathers. Uh, my father wasn't picked up, but his friends were. And a, we were having a, a prayer meeting at our house. So the FBI came to our door and um, knocked on the door. And naturally, when he came in, he didn't ask for my father, but he asked for the priest that was sitting there. And so they told him, get your hat, you're gonna go with us. So they just, they knew he was at our house. For, they were, since 1930, they've been keeping track of Buddhist priests, Shinto priests, Japanese school teachers, martial art teachers, um, whoever they, oh, business community leaders, uh, farmers. And under proclamation, 2425, 2426, and 2427. All immigrants of Japanese, German, and Italian descent were picked up. My brother had was married and had two children, but he felt that he wanted to shorten the war, so he felt he needed to go out and fight. Uh, so he volunteered to serve in the 442. He uh, served in uh, Italy, Germany, and France. He wrote a letter to my mother while on a ship going over to Europe. And since she can't read English, she, he asked me to translate the letter for him to her. And um, as he wrote the letter, and I was reading the letter to my mother in camp, there's one, one little light bulb. And the room is dark, and she's sewing. And she's sewing like this, and I, I said, I'm going to read Sadie's letter to you. He asked me to read this letter to you. So um, I read her the letter, and he says, I'm sorry, Mom. I haven't been a good son, but I feel I need to go to fight for our country. Um, so you shortened the war so we can all go home from camp. And also because they stopped calling us Japs anymore. And so um, as I read that letter to her, she just kept sewing. 
She did not say a word. She didn't look up. She just kept sewing. And um, I remember that so well. He was one of the lucky ones to come home. After three and a half years, uh, they decided to close the camps and we all had to leave. So they said, we'll give you a train ticket to wherever you want to go and $25 for each person. So the West Coast was still close to us. We could not come back to the West Coast. Um, the the uh, political leaders there said, we don't want the Japs back. So we went to Denver, Colorado. Pretty soon, all the people started leaving Denver and Chicago and going back to the West Coast. My father said, I want to die in my home. I thought he meant Japan, but he meant Los Angeles. So uh, we moved back to uh, Los Angeles, and six months later, he died. And we've been in uh, California, Los Angeles, ever since.